All right, life is pretty good when your team plays perhaps their worst game of the season and you still win the game. That describes the Lions 26-23 win over Houston last night with the Lions overcoming five condom interceptions and a 16-point halftime deficit. Some historical perspective for you. The last time the Lions began 8-1, and one, the price of a gallon of gasoline, 27 cents, and a guy named Dwight D. Eisenhower was in the White House. The year? 1954. Lions head coach Dan Campbell puts it in perspective. I feel really good about our team. Um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, they haven't done, done anything that uh, would surprise me negatively. You know, they're, they're exactly what I thought they would be. Uh, the fight they got in them, um, you know, the ability to reload, you know, reload one more time on the road, uh, you know, after the win we had in Green Bay and, and to face an opponent, a dang good opponent, plays damn good defense and takes care of the ball for the most part. And uh, we knew they were going to be ready to go. Uh, it says a lot, you know. And so, like every week for us, we, we just got to stay focused on what's right in front of us. And I really believe if we, just, if we do that, we're always going to have a, a really good shot. Uh, the odds are going to favor us that we can win. Uh, every week and so you know listen we're in it now there's no buys there's no nothing I mean we're, we're in the meat of it and so just head down and we just keep plowing forward <laughs> the train creeps on rolling Lions still maintain a one game lead over second place Minnesota in the NFC North and two games over the Packers Lions have already beaten both Minnesota and Green Bay in their houses and the Bears well <laughs> they're still the Bears meanwhile Eight and one Lions, winners of seven straight games, will host two and eight Jacksonville. That'll be 1 p.m. Sunday at Four Field. Lions with the best record in the NFC are a double-digit favorite over the Jags, who have the worst record in the AFC. Jaguars beaten by the Vikings Sunday, 12 to seven.